I'd like to focus on one Bible verse in our story today, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And the ESV puts it this way, And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. It seems as if Paul has covered all the angles. He's let us know that the God we deal with has thought of everything. He's got it covered. Well, this is a little story that has to do with that verse. One day I received a phone call from a principal in a school in a rather distressed area north of us about an hour or so. And uh, he said, we're just at the point of becoming a failing school. They struggle with a lack of parental involvement. The children are not highly motivated. Uh, I remember having a study with a bunch of young people up there and asking them what their dreams were. And, and one of them was to go to Walmart and buy some things. And the biggest idea of anybody, that, as far as their dreams for life, their vision for life was to get to go to Disney World. The idea of becoming a doctor or advancing in their their hopes and aspirations for this world almost non-existent anyway he said we're we're going to be testing soon and i want something to motivate the students so that they'll study hard and maybe we can keep this up in a passing grade because you know once they become a failing school they're in danger of being closed down by the state and bussing the students 30 or 40 miles away to another school it's not a good thing it decreases parental involvement. It doesn't help that way. So he said, I would like to buy some bicycles, five bicycles as prizes for the various grades. And I wondered if you would be willing to donate a bicycle. Well, I said, you know, it's not a real need in my mind, and but but I'm willing to pray about it. And if God will provide, and I said, by the way, it's just as easy to ask God for five as it is for one. Why don't we just ask him for the provisions for five? I said, what would it cost? He said, well, I've actually been to Walmart and there are five bicycles I've had set aside and $500 will cover them. So I said, well, all right, let's pray for that. And so we prayed for a gift of $500. Well, the next day I went down to my mail, and sure enough, there was a check for $500. And so I called him up. I said, the money's arrived. I'll meet you at Walmart this afternoon. Well, when I got there, he had already gone into the store, and he came out quite discouraged, and he said, they've sold the bicycles I have set aside. And now the next price break on the bicycle is, is more money, and, and we're not going to be able to get five bikes because it's more than $500. And I said, well, uh, brother, you know, I'll cover for that. And as soon as I said it, I could hear the Lord saying in my heart, Nicholson, I got this. You don't need to cover for me. <laughs> I, I knew this was going to happen, you know, and I've got it looked after. So we went in and selected the next price break category, and, and they were $109.99. So we took the five bikes over to, there's a little side kiosk there for the, the guns and sports and so on. And the lady began scanning them in. So the first one, $109.99, and with 7% Mississippi sales tax, it's $117.69. All right, so she scans them in and accumulated four bikes. We end up with $470.00 and 76 cents. That leaves $29.24. When she scans the fifth bicycle, it kicks in at $25, which is with tax $26.75. Same bike. So five bicycles. She calls up the manager and she says, something wrong here. These bikes are $109.99. And uh, four of them registered that way. The fifth one was identical to the others. It came in at $25, $26.75. And, 
And the manager said, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. We missed it in inventory. It's been sitting back in the corner of an office back there. And, and um, we're just clearing it off so you can have it for that. And so the total bill came so that we had $2.49 left over. <laughs> and it was just another reminder that God is able to make all grace abound to you so that you can have lots of money left over in your bank account and plan for a great retirement. And you know all the ver what the verse says, doesn't it? Oh, no, wait, what does it say? That having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. The idea in the West is if I get a good job and I make good money, then I deserve a good lifestyle. If I get a better job and I make better money, then I deserve a better lifestyle. And if I get a really, really great job and I get a really, really great salary, then I deserve a really, really great lifestyle. And my lifestyle keeps ratcheting up usually a little higher than my salary, so that I actually end up going into debt and pushing forward, and I become a slave to this. I'm not saying God wants us all to live in penury, you know, begging on the street, but the idea is to have a suitable lifestyle that's uh, frugal so that I can be generous with others. That's the idea, that God gives us riches not to expend on ourselves. Remember the principle. Everything I spend on myself, everything I use for myself, I lose. And everything I give up for the Lord Jesus, I get. The scripture says that if I seek to hang on to my life for myself, in the end I'll lose it. And if I give it away for him, if I sacrifice it for him, in the end I'll find it. You don't get rich by what you take up, but by what you give up. And that's the principle. So God encourage you to, first of all, have faith to believe that he is able to do this. In fact, to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think. He's not surprised by circumstances. He's got it covered. He knows what's happening. And if we trust him as little children, in the end, we stand back and say, this verse is true. God is able. He is able to make all grace abound to us. And why? So that we will be equipped for every good work. God bless you. And may you prove this verse true. These truths real in our lives. And why? Well, you know what happened there. The story went right through the whole school. It went through the whole community. That God is real. And God provides. And it's been a wonderful opportunity since then to be able to testify to this truth, to this fact. God is looking for people, not who want to be loaded with things, but who want to be the channel of his blessing to others, that people will know God is real and God cares and God is able. <music>